What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, of course, Ty Monty. Welcome back to another episode of Kicks Combo. So glad to see all you lovely faces here. And your boy is extremely excited due to the fact is I had one hell of a week copying some shoes of a lifetime, and they will all be in three separate videos. Well, actually, I got five shoes to show y'all. So y'all be getting videos on top of videos for the month of December coming up. So you guys stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and to dive into today's shoe. Let's get it. Now we are back, and as y'all can see, it is a Jordan 1 box. This is this is your typical Jordan 1 box. Now, can y'all guys comment down? I'm sorry, can y'all oh oh let me fix my mic real quick. Can y'all comment down below and let me know what shoe y'all think this is? Comment down below. Pause the video because I'm gonna keep on going. So this is your typical Jordan 1 shoe. It is a size 12. I can see right here, size 12. Kind of sad, this is not actually in my size 10 and a half and 11s, but this is a Jordan 1 shoe. Now, let's go ahead, let's, let's, let, me, let me show you the shoe that I'm talking about. Bada bing, bada boom, we are talking about the Jordan 1 mochas. Inside of the shoe, moving on to the outside of the shoe, and as I can see, the Jordan, you know, it's already connected. And honestly, getting this shoe was a surprise for me. I didn't think in a million years that I was going to actually get a shoe from the mall. But um, just a little backstory about how I got this shoe. Woke up one day. It was a Wednesday. Um, Foot Action in my mall was actually talking about they was going to have a restock. And it was they didn't know when it was going to come, but they knew we were going to have a restock. It was like Monday through Friday. So everybody was checking in Monday. No. Tuesday. No. So people just like, damn, well, they, it's, it's probably not going to even happen. It's probably false information. So Wednesday, when I came, they was like, yeah, Wednesday, the shoe is dropping. I said, all right, bet. So I heard it from the, I heard it from the plugs one time. Then my coworkers told me the second time. I was like, man, we're going to get this shoe. We all, we left work to go grab this shoe. And honestly, I'm so glad to have it. And I sold it. So, you know, it will be leaving the collection. I thought I was going to hold this on until SneakerCon. But, you know, I got to let it go. So, just let's, just, let's just, let's just go ahead and dive into this shoe. Let's just go ahead and dive into it. Now, around the toe box area, this leather material, I'll give it about an 8 out of 10. Why? I mean, it's real soft. I love it. But at the same time, I think it could have been better. The other Jordan 1 that I got this, uh, this past week, quality was phenomenal y'all gonna see it in the upcoming video quality is mwah, me perfecto but you know i'm looking at it i'm just like bro this shoe could have been this shoe could actually been a lot better why well, i say that is because if you really look at it it's not really something to actually go crazy for you see what i'm saying because of the mochas in the back poor man travis scott's travis scott's whatever you want to call it the travis scott's 2.0s with the you know correct check any everybody anybody gave this shoe a nickname everybody gave this shoe a nickname and me quite honestly this shoe really doesn't do it for me you know at when i when i got it you know it was all excitement but after looking at it, i'm just like bro i gotta get rid of these bad boys you know the suede mocha on the back i don't want to touch it because like i said i did so i did sell this shoe so this is somebody else's shoe it's no it's no longer mine but looking at it i'm just like bro like it could have been better like I see it like, hold on, I'm gonna take it out the light. So like, it could have been better, man. Like this shoe honestly could have been better. It's not really like something, honestly, that you can be like, yo, bro, like this is like a shoe. Like, you know, I got the Mocha Ones. Yeah, you're gonna have the Mocha Ones. They're gonna get dirty. You know, like ones, ones tend to get, like once these get dirty, they're gonna look fine. But at the same time, bro, it's just like, these, these, I don't see what the hype was, me quite honestly. Cause like I said, I'm not really a Jordan 1 silhouette but it is a nice shoe with the black bottoms you can't go wrong with the black bottoms you know with the off-white cell white on the midsole and the sole and then you know sell sell you know with the leather and the mochas and then you know your plush you know your plush ankles around you know you get it but at the same time this shoe could have been a lot better if they would have kept it you know more mocha i'll probably say like you know either this could have been mocha you know just just something to keep it or even had the checks mocha if the checks was mocha and this part was black i think that would have been crazy and then like 
you know made this one mocha as well but at the same time the shoe is still nice in my opinion the shoe is still nice but is this something that i could add to my collection if it was my size no i would have been trying to sell it as much as possible um it did come with white shoe strings but the factory gave you the black ones to start off with is it is going to look nice once it is laced up but at the same time this is not a shoe that i can honestly see myself wearing i'm so glad to actually purchase it and to sell it but at the same time this is a shoe that i didn't really see the hype of when it when when it dropped i was trying to hit for it if i hit for it cool if not i could push it but since it was a restock at my mall i wanted to get that you know sneaker uh that sneaker bucket list off i purchased a shoe walking into the malls just honestly just purchasing it like just like oh wow they got this shoe let me get it then i also waited in line to get a, a high-end shoe so my bucket list of actually being a sneaker head is you know it's, it's it's slowly minimizing got the youtube page and everything so you know we're working but at the same time i am going to start taking this resale you know sneaker game serious i got a um story dropping um next year working on getting it um processed right now so you guys stay tuned for that i got a store where we're gonna be um reselling shoes we're gonna be having high-end vintage stuff you know low you know not all ripped up and everything and you know everything will be washed and it will be shipped in our own um package with the tape and the seal and everything so you guys are going to be protected from like the rain sleet snow and your product will not be damaged that's what i can promise you and you know i'm coming up with business cards names i'm creating a website so i'm gonna be busy i'm gonna be busy so the mocha ones honestly good pick if you got it in your collection it's gonna be a good shoe for the winter time because everybody's gonna want this shoe sit on it make your money make your profit and honestly thank y'all for watching this is your boy of course tom monty welcome back to another episode of kicks convo can't wait to see y'all in another video and yeah that's it love you guys peace